Radiance Pig. Hey. So, sorry, uh, technical issues I had to deal with. Tiny Anti Mage Bane. Elder Titan, Slardar, Medusa. Medusa is. Is this going to be. Uh, I'm still not sure if this is going to be a mid Medusa. The Slardar, the Elder Titan do pair up pretty well with that stomp Ten into the crush with the go. stun coming out from the Slardar every fourth hit now as well. Navi. They've Five picked up seconds. the Bane, they've got the Tiny and the Anti Mage as well, so you can keep. Two, three heroes locked down while the tiny mage, tiny, tiny mage, tiny and the anti mage get in and do their thing. Um, yeah, anti mage again. The Medusa. I don't think she takes this plus seven hundred mana talent. Maybe it is just enough mana that the anti mage can't burn through it all. But if you do get the mana void off onto anyone, into the Medusa with anyone in a vicinity, they are going to be taking a whole load of damage with that talent. So yeah, probably does opt for the other one, the Bane. Fiend's Grip, going to be really strong for keeping them locked down. Maybe he just locks down the Medusa while the Anti-Mage goes to work. Does have the Nightmare as well as the Brain Sap as well. Just for that Lion's early game, a little bit of lockdown and harassment. Lion, Lion going to be picked up by Pavaga Jr. here. Ooh. I wonder if the Anti-Mage... He's going to have his time and completely right for that reflection, right? To be able to reflect that finger from the Lion. But the Tiny, the Bane... Yeah, Ten I'll be able to go, to go up Radiant's close onto the line, man. maybe stop him from being able to cast his Husker. ultimate, stack in those finger stacks as Husker will be the pick for Na'Vi. I assume this is going to be a mid Husker, maybe a safe lane Medusa as well. Medusa, if you can buy time, buy space for her, she can just get the lane creeps and then go into the jungle, get those jungle stacks as well as the ancient stacks as well. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Uh. Dyer's ban. Dyer's pick. Radiant's pick. Omni Knight. Omni Knight is going to be the final pick here by Navi. Yeah, I've not seen Omni Knight actually since the changes. I'll just take a quick look at his stuff as well since. Yeah, it does have the new spell. Buffer Aga. 10 seconds to go. It's going to be the OD. Time to pick some of these folks. Okay, so. Instantly, Pavaga know who they want to be playing. The same on Navi as well. Tisman's going to be on the line. We've got, and I'm going to pronounce these wrong. If I do pronounce them wrong and you've got the pronunciation in chat, let me know. As Happy will be on the Elder Titan. We've got Ergon on the Outworld. Devara, Kazla on the Slada, and PO65 on Medusa. Mew on the side of Navi. It's going to be Blizzy on the Omni Knight. We've got Magical on the Huskar, Seneko on the Bane, Crystallize, Anti Mage, and Chu picking up the Tiny here. So we're just going to be waiting to get into the game. And uh, let's see the first match between Pavaga Jr. and Navi. So chat, let me know. Who do you think is going to win this? Whose team do you prefer? Who do you think is going to be coming out on top between Navi as well as Pavaga? Personally, I can't get past the Anti-Mage pick over the Medusa. I know the Medusa can come in, do a lot of Siege damage, do a lot of right-click damage with the Split Shot, as well as the Snake to bounce around. Just be a complete pain in the ass in the fight, but it's an Anti-Mage game. It's just one of those where you look at it and you go, if it goes long enough, which it probably will do being an Anti-Mage Medusa game, then... Anti-Mage can split push, fight, team fight with the Medusa. Take away all the mana, maybe jump on the line, get him popped early so he can't get those fingers off. Tiny comes jumping in, doing a load of damage. You've got the harass coming through from the Husker now as well. Yeah, I'm... Everybody gets set. Maybe favoring Navi here. Just maybe, a tiny, tiny bit, like a 5% edge maybe, but it all comes down to how they play. And Simon... On the lion. He has actually got himself a sentry ward there as well. Maybe goes for a D ward. 
Surprised he didn't give maybe to the Medusa if there was going to be a mid lane ward, which there is coming out from Seneco here in the mid lane. Where else would a mid lane ward be? But yeah, the Medusa doesn't even have a ward of her own. So it is going to be the mid lane Medusa up against the Huskar. Magical here. Will he take the advantage of this? Because it's not going to be a level 1 spell shield, I don't think. No, it's going to be the snake. So I'm interested to see how this matchup comes out. Um, I do think after a few levels, the Huskar just starts to dominate because of the fire space being able to burn away the mana. And the life break coming out as well once he hits level 6. There's so was a little bit of an invade coming through here from Na'Vi. Pushes back the line in the OD. And Chew. Just hanging around. Simon's going to be coming up these stairs right into the Tiny's arms. And Tiny not skilled anything up just yet, but the two right clicks. Going to be a whole load of harass coming out onto the line. Line down to 430 health. And here we go. And now chasing away Chu. Chu's just going to be running himself away with the Tango. Has the health though. It's just, yeah, the regen coming through from the Tango. It's going to be a 2 for 2 trade on the runes. So there you go. Just picking up the last one now. Omni Knight. I need to... Heavenly Grace. Okay. Let's burn that into the brain. Crystallize hanging around. Is he going to wait to see if this is going to be the mid Medusa and maybe swap lanes with the Husker? Well, he sees it. Yeah, the burning space is going to be coming through onto Medusa and he magical just walks himself straight up. Just starts throwing these at the Medusa. Medusa is going to be taking a whole lot of harass. He even needs to use one of her branch tangos to get... A little bit more regen coming through because of these burning spears. But Pyo's pretty darn low. And it looks like Antimage is going to be going down to the bottom lane. Now Snake bounces through. So Magical takes a whole load of frost from that. Denied. Top lane. Happy and Blizzy. Is Blizzy doing the farming here? Is this going to be a... Yeah, sure, okay. So the Omni Knight says it's just going to be the Omni Knight getting the farm in the safe lane. It looks like the purification is going to be there. Astral Imprisonment, but Chu just backs himself away. Does have the tree to try and toss that one out if he needs to. And yeah, 6-1 to one on the 4-2 to two for the Medusa. So Medusa got one more denied, but Huska looks like he's going to try and take control of this lane, even forcing out the straight salve from the Medusa coming through from the Courier. Burning Spear is going to be carrying on. It actually evades uphill. Medusa is going to try and get anything out of this. Maybe a snake to bounce through. Trying to chase this one out. The snake isn't going to be cast just yet. Just holds it. And Magical will be able to regen back through that now with his salve of his own. You know the bomb lane. It looks like Crystallize. He's going to be doing a whole load of frost to Simon here. Seneco using that brain sap. Simon, there comes the Nightmare, Crystallize is going to be getting a little bit more farm out of this, Simon comes through, the spike is going to miss though, and Crystallize just carries on farming. Was that meant for the, I think that was meant for the neutral creep, right, but I think it was already finished. We want the top, the toss back onto Happy underneath the tier 1 tower. This could be first blood. The purification is going to be used by the Omni Knight now as well. One more right click, even with this Tango. Does he have another mana for the purification? He does not, but Blizzy chasing him through the trees. Is he going to be able to get there in time? Happy just getting himself through this maze of trees. Eats himself another one. Just carries on going here. Is he going to be able to get himself through this gap? He's going to go for the TP. Anything to stop this? The toss comes out. One more right click from the Tiny. Happy buying space, buying time, but eventually will go down. Meanwhile, in the river. It looks like a DD comes up for Simon, and Snaker was taking the brunt of that. But Snaker able to get himself away now as well. Chu gets himself another tree. There's Mew up, bottom lane, the Hex comes through, the Bash, one more right click. Crystallize gets the blink off in time. Oh, just, just needed one more right click from anybody there, and that would have been Crystallize going down, but he is going to be able to salve it and branch himself back up. Now the bash, the crush comes out onto the bane. Seneca though with the stick as well as the brain sap. Top lane Astral Imprisonment out onto Blizzy. The stomp comes through now as well. Blizzy with the purification tries to run himself away. The body blocks from Happy but it's not going to be enough as Blizzy will be able to get himself back. Salve himself up. But he is now down to 50 mana. Does have himself a mango though if he needs to use it in emergencies. <laughs> Kaz just keeps getting these bashes off onto the heroes. That's the best way to use it. You know, you queue them up. Every four attacks as the pull does come through from Simon. Soneko. Do you see it with this ward? Yeah, it's a pretty good ward. 
just to spot these poles. It means Crystallis can rotate over and not only get the creeps from the, the Radiant, but the neutral creeps as well. Cars, all the spell shield, it actually bounces the spike back. And Lion stuns himself. Stop stunning yourself. Oh, mid lane. There's an Astral in the top, but the Nightmare comes up. Magical is here, though. The right clicks from the Spears. Is it going to be able to take down the TP? He's going to try and get himself out of here, Medusa. And will not burn out in the fountain. Just, just has enough regen. Bottom lane though, this means Kaz will be able to throw out the harass onto Crystallize and you just see the bash, there wasn't a crush available and if there was that would have been Crystallize more than likely going down. Crystallize, not enough mana for the blink. But Kaz is going to be taking a few shots here now, there's going to be the Astral Imprisonment, maybe not the Purification as well as the Tiny Avalanche Toss coming through and it looks like ODs are going to be able to get himself away, the stomp is going to be there though, so ET just gets his OD out in time and Blizzy, Chew. Turn the harass onto the ET. ET just walks himself away. Purification. Astral imprisonment though. Onto the Omni Knight. And Omni Knight, full health. So not really scared of that as the the shrine will be popped. Gets Ergon as well as Happy back up to full health, full mana. Yeah. And our PO. Dive in the jungle. The towers having technical difficulties. Oh, just looking for the stacks. Or oh, the lack of, as there's a rotation through from the Bane spotted out. Lion was there to back up the Medusa if needed. Do they try and go for this? Lion is only level 3, so no finger of death just yet. Oh, the blink away crystal ice. Not going to be able to find these neutral creeps this time. The Bane rotates in. There's going to be another Radiant DD going the way of Simon, though. These DDs. So Nico going to walk straight up into the lion. The right click's going to be coming through. Is it going to be a spike coming through now as well from the lion? Radiant mid tower. Only level two, so the range isn't massive on it. So Nico looks like he was Can't just able to keep himself away out of range right of that now. earth spike. Now that walks himself in, the earth spike's going to be coming through. Maybe he's trying to bait himself. The crystallize didn't look like he wanted to get involved at all in this fight. And now the sprint comes through. Is there going to be a crush? X is going to be there. There's going to be another spike coming through now as well. So Seneca will go down. Crystallize the mana drain, but the blink away. Crystallize able to get himself away from this top lane. Ergon could be in a little bit of trouble. The avalanche comes through. Now Omni Knight sees the chase is on. No mana for the purification though. And the stomp going to be catching them too. Both of them in the stomp. The toss comes through though. Purification. Uses the soaring, gets the purification off, and Ergon. Oh, that's a, an unlucky OD. As Medusa. Mid lane, Crystallize has swapped lanes now. It looks like the Husker, at level 6, maybe wants to get involved on in this bottom lane. Maybe look for a couple of kills onto Kaz. Top lane, the TP comes in. Ergon is going to be able to get the Asylum Prisman off while they deny these wards. The stomp is there. The right is going to be coming through. Ergon using the Supremacy now as well. Blizzy, nothing to stomp him. The stomp as well as the Asylum Prisman has already been used. So Omni Knight just able to TP himself away and heal himself up at the shrine. Here with the split shot. Crystallize is level 5, so no mana void just yet. But the same for Medusa now hits level 6. What's he going to go for the extra point? In the river, Nightmare comes out, but the bash instantly takes off that region, and now the crush as well. Is there another spike? Not even needed. As Kaz gets another decent right click off, takes down Seneco. Oh, Crystallize is pretty darn low. He doesn't have a T. He doesn't have the mana for the TP. So he just needs to eat himself. Through the trees with his Quellen Blade, but Simon's close. Is he going to be able to get in range? I don't think he saw him. Just didn't have the vision to see him yet. Crystallize is going to be able to get himself to the shrine. Now Simon Dyer's mid -tower walks himself up, but he's a little bit too late. Kaz, let's take a look at the net worth. Eight and a half minutes in. So is going to be coming down. Is he going to try and go for the Nightmare? Only level three, so no Fiend's grip on him. Just has to rely on the nightmare. 
And a Husker level 7, so he does have the dive if he needs to, or if he wants to even. Magical. Nightmare comes out. Are they going to be able to pick up the line here? The Hex is going to be used onto the Husker, though. The right clicks. Is he looking for a bash? He gets the bash. Crush could come out now as well. It looks like Cats is going to be able to get himself away from this. The Burning Spears. The Life Break's already been used. He might change tags to Simon. The Toss comes forward. The Brains have the right clicks. They take down Simon underneath this tier 1 tower. Back in the mid lane, happy. Are Looks like trying? they are just shifting lanes, looking to get the Medusa a little bit of farm, who has gone to the jungle now as well. With the one point into the mana shield, the four into the split shot, so looking for these stacks. Bottom lane, the chasing cast through the trees, he's burning down, can he get himself away, gets a crush off onto two, but Snakeo's there, no brains at the toss forward, one more right click, Kaz! Magical secures it, <laughs> even life breaks to a creep. Mid lane crystallized, happy looking for levels in the mid, three levels behind crystallized though, the harass is going to be coming out, does have the mana void I think if he wants to, but happy. Probably wouldn't have been a kill with how tanky it is and with how low his mana pool is. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Navi, two to four, so not a high killing game, but Navi looking for the rotations where they can find them. Vanish comes out onto Omni Knight once again, Supremacy. He's going to be there, right click Blizzy. He's trying to get himself in range. Purification is going to be dropped, but Blizzy though, going to be taking a couple of right clicks for his troubles. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, the Slime Slider just can't do anything, even with the Elder Titan here. It looks like they might have been looking for a kill though. But Navi, too strong or too slippery, just gets away from them. The blink forward, the right clicks the Medusa though. He's going to be able to back himself away. The Mana Shield was turned on, and now the Snake bounces through for both of them. Crystallized still taking the harass. Scar is level 9. Does he want to try and do something with this tier 1 tower as the Tiny's rotating into the middle lane? Just keeps himself out of ward vision, it looks like Pio though is going to be moving himself back. Bottom lane, though. are they going to be able to get the crust to get the kill off onto Seneca once again? Life break comes forward, but there's going to be the Hex coming through now as well. Omni Knight does TP in, but the Finger of Death, are they going to be able to get anything out of this? Magical, there's going to be the Hammer being dropped by Ergon to secure the kill, but not before... Magical takes down Simon. I don't think oh he did actually get one for those the finger of death kill it looks like. Chew TPs himself away. Just underneath the gaze of Happy. So four to five. Bit of a brave dive though by Magical, but it did pay off him getting the kill. Maybe that's just what he was looking for. Knew he didn't have a way out, so decided to take one with him. Crystallized the snake. Just being reflected once again. Bottom lane look like looking for another fight with the fiend's grip now as well. They are gonna be able to kill off the OD. And even using the inner fire just as that fiend's grip was wearing off. It's a decent range on that inner fire now as well. So yeah, the T1 tower is going to start to be harassed down by Magical Blizzy can come in as well. Osineko, Brain Tap comes out onto the Medusa. Are they going to try and chase this? The Nightmare, anybody to back up? Well, OD is TPing in. Sineko though, drops himself a ward. Just going to be TPing himself out. Nobody can get him range in time. But this could lead for another rotation. The Hex comes out onto the line. The Reverse Hex. Reactions are there from Crystallize. But this tier 1 tower has gone down. Teeping himself up to the top lane now. It looks like Magical Radiant as well as Omni Knight here. Lizzy, they want to be going up for a smoke kill. Maybe looking for another tower. Tiny's shown on the lane, 
Slurdark Cast is coming a little bit too far forward here. And if Tiny sees him. Yeah, the rotation is going to be coming through from behind. Kaz just tries to hide himself up, and the left break comes through as well as the purification, the right clicks as well as the avalanche. And Kaz going to be saved for Magical, and Magical picks himself another notch on his kill belt. 4 1 and 1. As many kills as Pavarg have on their entire team. ET looks for the rotation in, but needs to be careful. Chu as well as Taneko are here. No toss onto the Elder Titan just yet. Radiant's the courier. Lion is invis. The finger of death is up. Radiant's top tower. TP is going to be coming in now as well. Do they have any vision of this? There's going to be the, the spike coming through now as well. As the snake, Snake, trying to do it again. Will be taking down the stomp. Doesn't hit though. And Blizzy Chew as well as Magical should be able to get themselves away from this. Though there is a hex available. Lion not able to get him range for it. So the mid lane is being pushed in. Tis mine. But they need to look over. It's going to be a double avalanche. The toss comes out now as well. Kaz with the bash, but it's not going to be enough. He gets taken down. And now the guardian angel comes out. Ergon, the four staffs away. Still being chased. Are they going to be able to get anything out of this? The DJ and Aura, is it going to be enough to slow them down? Can't get in range, but the toss comes forward from Magical. Magical. Astral Imprisonment comes out. He was instantly running himself away. The Earth Splitter being used as well as the Stomp now, as well as the right clicks. It looks like they might be able to take down Magical. The Finger of Death comes out, even dropping the Sanity's Eclipse to get the kill on this. Blizzy being chased away. He's so healthy, but the Astral Imprisonment does come out now. Three heroes, too. Does he stick around or does he go? Blizzy uses the Purification, though. It looks like he's already going to be taken down. Hex comes out. Right click happy. Secures the kill. And Chu just backs himself away. Mid -towers coming apart. Oh god. Got himself the first half. Gotta be going for the full hurricane pike now. Mid -tower. Just happy looks to push back this middle lane. The T1 tower has already been taken down though. I think this board does see Kaz as well. Do they want to go for the kill onto Ergon? It looks like they do. No avalanche. The four staff comes out. So he is going to be able to get himself away. For now. At least. And the chase is onto Suneko. There's going to be the corrosive haze. The nightmare though. The stomp. Is it going to be in range to keep Suneko locked down? The TP coming and come through from the lion. No finger for 100 seconds though. This should be a kill onto the bane. The mana drain comes out. The bash damage. Level 4 bash. Bonus damage 225. <laughs> Simon, even denying that Regen Blizzy wasn't going for it anyway, but still, the principle of the thing. Blizzy's actually middle of the road for farm. Still got a few decent items with the Soul Ring as well as the Drum of Endurance boots as well. But Anti Mage. Starting to climb oh so far ahead. Got the Battle Fury, so that farm is only going to climb. And Medusa starting to lose ground to him. Going to be going for the Manta style though here. Close to it, just needs about another 1300 gold for the ultimate up. Harpy, going to be Nightmare. You yeah, are going to be able to take down the wards though. The blink coming in from Kaz. He's going to be able to get the crush onto at least one. The spike comes through now as well onto Bane. Bane being mana drained out. The Earth Splitter, the stomp, keeps a couple of them locked down. Earth Splitter drags Chew back in. Where are they going to be going for this? The Avalanche, though, just keeps Ergon from being able to do anything. Kaz will be able to get the kill onto Suneko. The toss up into the air. And Happy underneath the tier one tower. Going to be pushed back, so can't get the stomp off. Pyro does take down Chew now as well. Kaz, what's he going to be able to do here? The right click's going to be coming through. Ergon, Pyro. They secure the kill onto the host guard. Now the banish comes out as well. Are they going to be able to get the kill onto the Omni Knight? The stomp once again. Blizzy. Four heroes dead. Anti Mage doesn't care. He's doing anti mage things in the opposite jungle. This is going to be a tier one tower going the way of Pavarga. Is this the comeback? 12 to 9. Guess what's happening in the Dyer's bottom tower. Four kills and the net worth start to swing in their favour. Simon got himself regen boots as well as wards. Dyer's top towers get Finger up as well. Down. I'm surprised he didn't use it in that fight. Maybe it was on cooldown. Double damage. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Cast with a blink. That mid lane tower for the Dyer. It's still pretty healthy, but Ergon is going to be coming in, pushing it with the astral imprisonment onto the creeps as well. We'll be able to clean these off. 
Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Yeah, with well, this team stuck behind him now as well. Fine. Please, he's getting brave. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. So, Blizzy, yep, just hides himself in this tree, just watches this tier 1 tower fall, just waiting for anybody to jump in, but nobody did. So we do get a tier 1 tower for free, and now, P.O., is that worth starting to catch back up to the anti-mage? But anti-mage, again, just carries on farming, carries on split pushing. Dyer's mid towers have magical. What's he gonna do here? Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Just hiding himself away on the high ground. Maybe looking for anybody to push up, but Radiant's OD as well. Simon coming in from days. behind. Ergon. They're looking for this. The crush comes out, but there's gonna be the nightmare onto the slide. As some Nako being chased down. Corrosive face. Simon does take up that nightmare. On Seneko, is he going to be able to get himself away? It's only level 1 into the sprint, but the crush is going to be there on top of Seneko with the right clicks. He has 5, 3, and 7 now. So as he started slowly to creep behind the slider in terms of net worth, Hasn't really picked anything up. It's actually going to be going for the Hand of Midas, so quite close to that. But Slada, already working on that BKB, will be able to blink BKB in, and not a whole lot will affect him. Surprised we haven't seen any fireworks to go with the uh, Finger of Death. But now the T1 Tower being pressured. Medusa with the Manta Star will be able to push this one in quite quickly. OD waiting around just in case anybody tries to defend this. That's a four man, three man smoke. It's going to be the reveal though. The BKB comes up from Magical and now the Toss Avalanche into the earth. They're going to be able to take down at least Simon. Simon gets the Hex back onto himself. Now Medusa using the Stone Gates, but the Snakes will be bouncing back through onto Pio. And <laughs> straight back to Crystallize. So Crystallize gets his mana back for that. Spell Shield. Ergon, he's not got the four star for another 20 seconds, just needs to get himself out, the TP and the trees, the stomp, just a body block for him. So he will be able to get himself away. It looks like everybody apart from Lion. Gets himself out of that fight, unharmed. Cass needs to be careful, does have the blink dagger. And Pio looking for the farm in the jungle, yeah, just still 2k behind. So if they can get a kill onto this anti-mage, Medusa should be able to catch up here, but the trick is getting the kill onto the anti-mage with the spell shield. As well as his blink, as well as his manta style. That's a really hard hero to try and lock down. Pavaga into the pit. The AM illusions are going to be coming in here to try and spot this one out. They do spot it out. So Navi. Do they try and collapse on this? Chew with his blink dagger up in a second. Could go for an almighty dive if he wants to. But Roshan, it's going to be done soon. Does he go for it? He blinks himself. He's going to be a little bit too short. Chris Lies gets himself into the pit. But Roshan, it's going to be picked up there by the Medusa. That's going to be the Mana Void killing off the OD. Pio trying to do what he can. He does have the Aegis. He can try and get himself away. The BKB going to be wearing off shortly by the Husker. But not before he gets the kill onto Kaz. Kaz will burn down. Magical on a run here. Aegis will be popped. And it looks like Na'Vi will be taking this fight with ease. As Medusa and E.T. the only two now left alive. The Mana Shield. There's going to be the Stone Gates. Can they burn through it in time? Nightmare to keep him locked down even after the stone gates was off Peo will be paying with his life not the fight that Pavaga wanted but the fight that Navi needed so Oscar with his double braces BKB as well as that armlet able to take down two or three in that fight so do Navi just stack up and maybe push this out I am still doing farming and now 3k, nearly 4k ahead of the Medusa after that fight. Level 19 now as well. Let's take a look at the hero levels highest by four levels in the game. Anti-mage. The Battle Fury just does work. 
Just makes it so easy for him to level and farm. Oh, the dive comes through. There's going to be the avalanche. Is it going to be a toss up into the air now as well as the pushback from the Husker? He should be able to get this kill onto Slaughter. Slaughter being forced after him away. The tree toss. Well, is enough to finish that kill. Blizzy even takes down Simon in the mid lane now. Another avalanche toss. Tosses back an illusion though. Instantly pops the buyback from the slaughter. The blink crush forward onto Seneca. Are they going to be able to get anything out of this? You know what? Anti-Mage is just still farming the jungle creeps. So There's going to be the stone gates coming out from the Medusa. But the pushback from the host guy has scored with the BKB. He's going to be able to get himself away. Maybe even tries to turn this one around. Blink up onto the high ground. There's the Aslan Prism onto the AM. Crystallize doesn't carry on going here. So Chew. Medusa's working on the butterfly. Is she stacking up another one as well? No, it's um No. Okay. Tis my Get him close to that. About twelve well, about halfway there to get the the remaining items. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Actually, we're going to be buying out for this now as well. It looks like. There goes Radiant's bottom tower. Husker will be able to take this T2 tower on the bot lane. Does he carry on pressure in here? He needs to be careful of the rotations. Using the inner fire as well to push back these creeps. Disarms them as well, so Medusa rotates down just to farm these up. It looks like this is just buying space and time to help push onto this tier 2 tower, but they're rotating through. Are they going to try Radiant's and go for the OD through the Radiant apart. Jungle? No breaking through the dire structures for now. OD four staffs TPs Radiant's himself away. Anything to this rub that just can't get the vision. And OD will get himself out alive. Anti-Mage, Scardy if he wants to pick it up. It looks like he does. Buybacks be damned in this game. Looks like there might be a fight breaking out here. Simon's going to be the first to fall. Does he get himself out of this though? With a one charge, his finger of death turns around, gets the kill into Magical. And now Chew, the Earth Split of the Stone Gaze. At least Blizzy as well as Snake are being locked down. The right click's coming out onto Blizzy. They might be able to turn this one around, but the Fiend's going to come out now onto the Medusa. Medusa being kept in and the just Mana Void. Takes him down, pops him. Astral, as well as the Sandys is a close being used. Crystallized will be killed off for Tiny Chew. Is he going to be able to get himself away? The blink up to the high ground. He's looking at the bash. He is going to be able to get that bash off. And now the cross of face. Chew is going to be killed off. So Medusa for the entire team of Na'Vi. That's bringing it back square. 19 to 19. 2k net worth lead on the side of Na'Vi. But Pavaga really needed that to catch back up. Hang on, do they look for this tier 2 tower? Huska is back alive now, but can't be defending solo. Dyer's mid tower. As strong as that hero is, he's not that strong. BKB up now for Ergon. Dyer's mid tower is having a technical difficulty. Magical only got his boots of speed. The Dyer couldn't hang on to that mid -tower. I didn't notice that, but yeah, just opting to go for brown boots into the rest of his items. Invisibility. Roshan, two and a half minutes before he may be back up, forgetting how quickly that age just went down. Swimming night. Rotating through the jungle. Are they gonna be able to see here with these wards? Does OD come down into this? I think he's just just outside of the vision. Or maybe not. You see Kaz now the blink avalanche tossed back into the rest of the team. The stone gaze immediately being popped. 
but it looks like Kazi gets the Croce off Aston Prisma to save his life. Right clicks being used. Are they going to be able to get anything out of this? He takes down Seneco. The inner fire being used now by Magical. He pops the BKB. Just going to go for a run and Crystallize needs to get himself out, but he's hexed up. There's going to be the Chew on top of the Stirs. Crystallize though. will be able to get himself away, maybe at the price of yeah, Chew. Chew blinks himself died. away now as well. Oscar, so the takedown, it's a one for one trade. The Slurder for Seneco. And Kaz. I don't know, because it was an ambush, so probably going to be happy with that. That he got something back for his life. Simon, only three stacks onto the Finger of Death. It is level two now as well, so it's a 100 second cooldown. Not even anywhere close to looking for the Aghanim Scepter. Going to be opting for a Blink Dagger. Happy. Happy to get a Vlad's and a BKB. I didn't know this. Let's take a look at the items while we've got a little bit of downtime, shall we? We've got the Butterfly has been finished up by Pyre. Um, Kaz. I thought Kaz finished the BKB. Did he not? No, he's getting close to it though. He's got a Mithril Hammer. Ooh, Seneco. Does Pyre spot him though? I think. Do they have the vision? Happy. No Blink Dagger, but Odie could come in with the Force Staff. He's going to be able to get there with the Sleep. Couldn't get the Astral Imprisonment off, but it's going to be... The Nightmare is going to be transferred. Stomp just catches Seneco on the edge. Do you see him? The sleep's going to be worn off here. Seneco needs to get himself away from this cross of haze just to see him. Nightmares himself going to be transferred over. And now the crush comes through, Kaz. Well, while this is going on, it's going to be crystallized. Taking the tier 2 tower on the top lane. Chu as well as Blizzy backing him up. Yeah, OD does TP himself back here, Ergon. Pyro on the other side of the trees. Crystallize comes in with the snake, but Simon's there. The hex comes out. Are they going to be able to get this kill? Crystallize with the. Um, God, what's that called? It's the Heavenly Grace. With a dispel. Crystallize going to be able to get himself away, though. I will remember the name of that spell. It'll take me a couple of games, but I will remember the name of that spell. As Crystallize just still in the jungle, top of the net worth. 4k ahead. Going for a BKB, then a butterfly of his own. Oh, the Titan. Come for a Helvin's Harbor, it looks like. Maybe to try and stop the Huskar from doing what he does. Who has already got a Heaven's Harbor? For maybe the OD? I guess the OD? So, uh. Or maybe the split shot from the Medusa, right? A couple of targets. You can use it on the. Where are they going to be going, though, with this as. Crystallized just carries on farming up. I... BKB's finished. He's looking for the butterfly. Where's Medusa? Actually, got the Lincolns queued up now as well. Would help with the Nightmare and the Fiend's grip, but needs to look out. Because if one comes out, the other should shortly follow. Twenty-one to twenty. Thirty-two and a half minutes in. Two K net worth lead for Navi. If we take a look at the difference in XP, it's only five K going the way of Navi. Uh, yeah, team net worth the same as well. Just two point five. And the win probability is in Pavaga's favour. It dips and dives and climbs, but in the minute, it's about a fifty percent in favour of Pavaga. Navi, maybe looking for another little bit of an ambush. The smoke comes out from the side of Pavaga. The wards are up now as well. Huskar, BKB is active. It's going to be the Blink Crush in though. Are they going to be able to do anything with this? The BKB as well as the Guardian Angel. Magical gets himself in close. 
Astral comes out, Earth Splitter, are they going to be able to try and chase this one down? It's going to be the spike being reflected over from the AM. They're looking for a fight, but the inner fight comes out, forcing them to do some back as well as the disarm. Suneko in the trees with the Fiends, but they are going to be able to clean up at least two heroes. Is it going to be three? Pio going for the TP, not going to be able to get himself out in time. Does he? Does he not burn out? He doesn't. Ergon comes back in for this with the BK up. Magical, the Sanus because Eclipse does get dropped. They take down Suneko, but Ergon in a whole load of trouble will be killed off, and now Kaz can't even get himself away. Pio just able to get himself out with the TP, not disrupted there by Na'Vi, nothing to cancel that off. But they do start themselves on Roshan, I say start, it looks like it's going to be a really quick Roshan here. It's Roshan. Being right click down, Magical takes the cheese as well as the Aegis. While Crystallize just keeps working on these racks. Does have the Manta Star, but he's saving it for now as the melee racks will be started on here. Uses the, the Reflect. So Pio will lose a little bit of mana. But everybody on the side of Navi, they want to be coming in on these buildings. It looks like the Avalanche Toss does latch onto two. And the melee racks, it's going to be a quick one. So the blink forward, Kaz goes for the crush, doesn't hit on anyone. The time. Zayam, ever the brave soldier, farms himself an ancient stack, then gets himself away. Goes into the mid lane though, they can put pressure on now with the 11k net worth lead. Let's take a look and see what, yeah, that is a massive bomb drop to close to 75% win chance. For the side of Navi. Lion's still on level 15. What's Suneko? Level 14. So both supports suffering in terms of XP. Blizzy got himself a hex now as well. So the Hand of Might is paying off for him. Blink Dagger Hex drums. Still got a stick. Didn't bother upgrading that. Regeneration! Shneko. Going for a Vlad's of his own, it looks like. What's on the courier? Yeah, it looks like it is going to be Suneko's Vlad's. There's no Na'Vi. Look in the dive. It's going to be deep. It's going to be onto the Medusa. The Purification comes out. But Kaz was there with the Crush. BKB is going to be popped by Magical. Looks like they are going to try and right click down at um, Pyo. But the actual Imprisonment comes out. Saves him for now. Kaz. Kaz is going to be able to get himself away. He gets the Crush off the Fees. which comes out. But Kaz, though, it's going to be cancelled off. The Inner Fire comes through. Guardian Angel is going to be there as well as the Stone Gaze. It's going to be cancelling off Hoskar's dive. And now he's in stone form he is a statue though they are going to be able to take down Simon Simon couldn't get out the finger off to cancel off Magical and now the Aegis will be popped Crystallized goes in deep gets the kill Sanity's is going to be dropped Suneko is he going to be taken down against the Aegis Magical does come back up Pyo is going to be a deep dive once again in a fire they take down the Medusa instantly buys back but it will be a tier 2 tower fawn in the mid lane are they going to be able to get anything else out of this Suneko is pretty darn low as far as buybacks go, the Avatar's combo back. Happy is going to be able to get himself away. No, another deep dive by Magical. Takes down the ET. The Hex comes out from the OD, though. Crystallize wants to go into this. The right-click's Ergon. Just so tanky. Crystallize doesn't want to really go for Medusa being nightmared up to the Caron chase, and it is only two, three heroes out from the side of Pavaga. So they need to be careful about all four heroes on the side of Na'Vi. The double butterfly for Medusa. As Crystallize gets the shrine. Just net worth wise, he's on 30k. What more could he need? Oh, I guess buyback. Got himself the MKB now as well. Of 
for a kill down. What did the Medusa go for? Well, not 25 just yet, so not the 1,000 mana. But maybe goes for the split shot, uses modifiers. Doesn't really have any modifiers. Navi, once again stacking up in the jungle. Yeah, Shrine taken down here. So Navi with pretty much complete map control, even got a couple of T2 towers left standing. How are they going to look for the killer blow here? As far as buybacks, only Tiny and Blizzy. The drawer in a line, yep, they smoke themselves up. They've taken down the ward there as well. The ping's coming through from the bane. Looking for one hell of a backstab here. Suneko is in close. The smoke's going to be breaking. There's going to be the avalanche coming through. The BKB from Ergon, though, is going to be coming through from Crystallize now as well. Stonegaze. Crystallize just turns himself around. Goes back for Ergon. Sinus' lips will be dropped. The takedown, but the Vibrat comes through from Blizzy. He'll be trying to TP himself back in. Is there an Earth Splitter? Earth Splitter's back. have been used. In a fire comes out. Magical eats the cheese. The right clicks Crystallize, though, with the spell shield. The stomp comes out. Blinks himself away just in time. Takes down Medusa. Medusa has no buyback now. Crystallize hexed up. Finger of Death comes through. The right clicks hex. It will be enough to take down the anti mage. Now the Astral Imprisonment comes out, two heroes dead, three heroros dead on the side of Provagado in a fire once again. Now they're gonna be able to take down the Slaughter. Slaughter is dead now as well. Buyback comes through from the from the Lion. Magical though, still taking a whole lot of right-click damage. Being chased by these orbs. It's only two heroes alive on the side of Pavaga. Are they gonna be able to stop this in? Simon though being tossed back right underneath Hex though onto the Husker. One more right-click. Simon will be killed off. Now this T3 tower in the mid lane, it's only the OD that can really try and push this one back. No heroes with buyback on the side of Pavaga. This looks like it will be a win for the side of Navi. At least one more set of racks. OD though, no real interest in defending the solo, and it looks like they are gonna start on the third lane of racks. Pavaga, nobody back up for at least 30 seconds. OD stunned up now as well. The hex comes out onto him. He's got no BKB that he can cast while he's hexed. Yeah, this T3 tower will go down. Slada, not up for the next 15 seconds or so. Nodi just slowly with the um, the Enfeeble now taking away attack speed. BKB is going to be popped. Ergon, what's he going to be able to do here? No, not a lot. Might be able to kill off Magical though. The BKB does come out the crush the Astral Imprisonment at the same time onto Chu. Chu tries to run himself away from this. He's going to be able to get himself away. It's going to be the Mega Creep home coming through. Chu, one more right click. Ergon, can he get himself in time? Nope. Chu is going to be able to blink himself away now. Just looking for the run as Magical TPs himself out. Anti Mage coming up in the next couple of seconds. Radiant mid towers getting banged up. Four staff forward. Chu might go down here. Chu will be killed off. And doesn't have the gold for a buyback. But this is Pavaga up against Megas. They do have the Medusa. So she should be able to clean through these pretty quickly. Oh god. Leading the line. Roshan. It's gonna be a long one. Two and a half minutes before he's back up. They're looking for a fight, but they've got one tier four tower left. It's Mega Creeps pushing in. They've gotta find something soon, otherwise they're gonna start losing the ancient. Scan comes out the dire, I think it is. See, yeah. See the radiant around the Roshan pit, but the radiant scan comes through and sees the dire's moving out of their base now as well. ET with BKB down to 6 seconds. Crystallizes BKB. 7. Huskars. Yeah, right down to 5 on the Huskar. Medusa doesn't even have a BKB. Actually, he queuing up the rapier. Is this the win condition here for Pavaga? It's 
Crystal Ice blinks forward once again, leading the line. Sineko and Chu behind. Chu's BKB. So only just pick that one up. Catch up. But this could be the fight that ends it here. Navi. Two buybacks, three buybacks available on the side of Navi. Only one on the side of Pavaga. If they go for the deep dive, you've got to look at do they have the boots of travel to get themselves back into the fight though? Huskar could buy them. I think he just, with the buyback, he just have enough gold to buy them if he wanted to. Smoke comes through from Pavaga. Well, the blink forward, the crush comes out, the BKB is there though, the dive comes through onto us. Kaz, Kaz is going to be able to get himself away, the finger. Yeah, going to be able to take down at least an acre with the finger of death. The right clicks though, magically, is going to be able to get himself away. Stone Gaze being used. There's going to be the Sandy's clips being dropped. Blizzy though, needs to run himself away from this. The right click, Simon will be killed off. Two heroes dead on the side of Pavaga. Could be three, will be three. Uh, even four as the Slatter forced to buy back. Ergon will be killed off. No buyback for the next three minutes and nine seconds. And it's just going to be the GG call coming up from Pavaga. Couldn't win that fight. And it will cost them the game. So that is going to be the first game of Pavaga versus Na'Vi. I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Split some music. And then we'll be back with the next game of the series. We'll see you then.